Hey guys, what's going on? It's Evan Nick 100, and I am back with another review for you guys. And today, I have the Batman Gotham City Cycle Chase set for you guys. Now, this set has a set number of 76053, has 224 pieces, and it retails for $19.99. So, this set is really awesome. You get two, you get three amazing figures, and two of which are brand new, and two awesome vehicles. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite Batman sets that we've gotten in a while because you just get you get like the new 52 Harley Quinn, you get Deadshot for the first time, and to be honest, this is kind of like a little tease. Uh, they have like Suicide Squad members because of the movie. And then we also know about the two other sets that are coming out over the summer. And they have Killer Croc, Captain Boomerang, Katana. Uh, I think that's about it for the Suicide Squad. <laughs> so we get five members, and all five of those characters are actually in the movie. So that's really cool. And I'm going to be reviewing those two sets when they come out. But for now, let's just talk about the Gotham City Cycle Chase. So let's get right into this review. So the first figure in this set that we get is obviously Batman. So this is the just the normal plain New 52 Batman without the boot printing. Uh, we got this in the Gorilla Grodd Goes Bananas set. We got this in the Destro Harbor Pursuit, I think it was what it was called. Um, then we got this exact same figure again in the Jokerland set, but he had overmolded boots. And to be honest, I'm not overly upset. This is going to be Lego's new uh, black-suited Batman from 2012 and 2013. We're probably going to get this figure all the way until the end of the year, probably even next year with the Lego Batman movie sets. Um, but this figure is still great nonetheless. And if you guys... Um, I, you know what? <laughs> I was going to say, go back and watch my uh, previous review of this figure, but I never actually got a chance to review the other sets of the Justice League lineup, so, uh, lols for days, but, you know, this figure's nice, it has a lot of great torso printing, on the back here it has the soft cape, you can lift it up, the torso printing continues from the back to the front, especially the belt, and he has two gadgets, he has the grapple gun and the silver battering that we saw in the Batman v Superman sets, and if we take off his mask here with the short eared cowl, which I love, um, he's got just kind of like the serious, stern expression. And then on the back, he actually has like a truly angry expression like that. So that's all there really is for this Batman figure. Nothing too special. We've seen it a few times before. So let's move on to the new figures. Okay, so next up, we have the new Harley Quinn minifigure. Now, this and Deadshot are going to be the main two draws to, for people to buy the set. And actually, I do have a feeling that these might be uh, going out of stock soon everywhere because a lot of people, or at least around my area, are buying them. Uh, I've been to Toys R Us and Target a couple times after I bought this set, and I've noticed that it, there's only like one on the shelf, like one or two on the shelf, or they're not even there at all. And that's actually a really good sign because this set is really great. But starting on the figure itself, Harley looks awesome. This is by far my favorite Harley Quinn variant that we've got. And uh, my second favorite is probably just her classic costume. But this figure is awesome because this is, it's her new 52 rendition. Uh, she has a brand new hairpiece. And for a while I've been wanting to see that hairpiece on a Harley Quinn minifigure. Just looks really great, like the red and blue, exactly how she looks in the New 52, at least back in 2011. She kind of has the black and red look now, currently in the new DC Comics. And the torso printing continues on to the back. She has a nice belt design that continues all the way to the front. She doesn't have any leg printing on the sides, but that's perfectly alright because the leg printing on the front is awesome. And now the head is the, is the exact same head that we got with the Jokerland set, and... Just so I can give you guys a look, don't fall off the stand. Uh, this is what her hairpiece looks like. It's just red on the inside and blue and red. But if we turn her around, she has the smiling expression, and then she has like a really upset, angry expression, and that's what she looks like with the hair and her angry face. And she does have her accessory, which is this big giant hammer 
So there are two stickers on it. You have like POW right here and uh, the Harley Quinn, I guess, kind of symbol, like the diamond. But that's all there really is. So I think that is it for Harley. So let's move on to the next figure. Alrighty, and the last figure that we get in this set is Deadshot. Now, next to Harley, like I said, this is going to be the main draw for people to buy the set. And there's a good reason for it, because this figure is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to take off his accessory and show you guys that it is basically just a brick-built rocket launcher with a handle and then a stud shooter for the front. Not really too interesting, and you guys know stud shooters work, so I'm not going to use it. But basically, what's over here, he just has red everywhere and like silver legs, like silver chrome legs, which we haven't gotten since like the Age of Ultron figures, like with Ultron. And he has a very nice face print. Now, this is more of his appearance in the comics and Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. And I absolutely love that. He has lots of great printing. And he even has arm printing of like his wrist guns. And we've actually seen those in Suicide Squad, at least in the new trailer, that you see it. So it's really cool. And he has these ammo pouches on both of his arms. And I'm actually going to take off his head here. So this is what his head looks like. He doesn't have any printing on the back of his head, at least not that I can tell. But I'm going to set that down for just a second. I'm going to take off this huge jetpack that he has. It's just a couple of pieces put together to make a jetpack. Let me put his head back on. And then this is what the back of his torso looks like. The lines from the front and around the neck area, like this V area. They continue from the front. Which is completely awesome. Sorry if I keep moving him out of frame. But it's just how he looks. And... This is one of my favorite Batman figures that we got in a while next to uh, this new Harley. So, I think that is it for the figures, so let's move on to the actual set. Okay, so getting into the set itself, we have one of two motorcycles in the set, and the first one I'm going to start off with is Batman's. Now, Batman's motorcycle is really cool, and the way that both of these motorcycles are designed actually kind of reminds me of... Uh, the motorcycle that Wildstyle built in the Lego movie when she and Emmett are escaping from the robot police. I don't know. It's just kind of like the big wheels, I guess, kind of do that for me. But there's actually a lot of cool playability functions with this set. And you do have a Batman sticker here and here on the other side. And you have a couple stud shooters here on the back. And you just have like this big engine thruster thing. And you have a couple more thrusters here. Um... And the way that you actually sit Batman down, you sit him down right here. But the funny thing is, is that Batman actually lays down. So I'm going to see if I can get him in position. Because it's kind of weird. <laughs> I kind of wish that either they put a seat or something else. But I guess this kind of makes sense. So just have him grip the handlebars. And then he gets down like that, and he can drive around looking like this with the wheel less than six inches from his face. That would really scare me. And then here on the back, you have you have like two clips, and you can actually stick uh, Batman's Batarang and his grapple hook uh, right here. So let's stick the grappling hook right there. Then the Batarang, right there, so they look like that. And then these two pieces right here can actually fold all the way around. And you can have like a little stud shooter, like little stud cannons right here. And I think that that's pretty cool, that's a cool function of this set. And that's what it looks like without that. And then you guys can just fold it back around, and there you go. So, I think that that's it for Batman's motorcycle, so I'll just move on to the next vehicle. Okay, so the second vehicle that you get with this set is Harley Quinn's motorcycle. Now, it's slightly smaller than Batman's, but, you know, it still works. I kind of like this one a little bit better, just because it looks more of like a crazy design and more colors. 
and stuff like that. I just like vibrant colors and motorcycles and stuff. And she has like four engine thruster exhaust things <laughs> on the back. And I don't really know too much about vehicles. Um, and then she has this little piece on the side, which I'm about to show you what it does. And then here on the motorcycle where Harley sits, you see those two studs. So you set her down like this. And then you have, I'm going to push her back a little. And you have this handlebar that she can grip. So she looks like that, so she can drive the motorcycle. And now this little gold piece here is actually meant for her hammer. So you can stick the hammer right in there, and you can have it like move up and down, smashing stuff. Uh, just be careful you don't snap it off by mistake. But that's what you're supposed to do with it. So that's all there really is for Harley's motorcycle. Not, mu not as much playability as Batman's, but it's still really cool. So that is it for the set itself. So let's move on to the instruction manuals in the box. There is no comic book included with this set. So we'll just do the instruction manuals, the box, and then we'll wrap up this review. So you have two instruction manuals with this set. And to be honest, I find that really weird because in the Crossbones Hazard Heist, uh, the set had more pieces and it had one instruction booklet. So I don't know why this one has less pieces and you need more instruction booklets but this booklet focuses on building Harley's motorcycle it is a 31 page build and then on the back it's just another Lego advertisement and then for the second booklet if you can imagine it is for building if I can get it around it is Batman cycle and it's a 42 page build and it shows you all the playability functions I just went over for the entire set and it shows the piece count and then it has a promo for all the Batman v Superman sets and you guys can go check those reviews out on my channel because I already have them all done and for this movie I'm actually going to be doing something really special that I'm going to talk about in a vlog as soon as I'm done uploading all of these so stay tuned for that and I'm going to explain so again stay tuned <laughs> and then on the back it has a Lego DC Comics uh, Lego DC Superheroes promo which is really nice. So I think that is it for the instruction manuals. So let's move on to the box. All right, so for the box, it's about, like I've said multiple times, <laughs> this is about your uh, standard $20 Lego set box size. It shows a little action sequence between Deadshot, Harley, and Batman. And then it shows the three figures included in the set, the Batman and DC Comics logo in the bottom right. And up at the top, it shows another little fight between the three of them, and then Batman sporting the actual size reference, and here on the side there's nothing, <laughs> then on the back it shows an extension of the exact same fight scene that we saw on the front, and then it shows all the playability functions that I went over, and then it has the same Batman and DC Comics logos, and then a Lego DC Superheroes promo in the bottom right, and again, nothing on this side, so that is it for the box, and that is it for the review, so Let's go wrap it up. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are always down in the description below. And uh, again, I'm sorry that I've been absent for the past month. And I'm probably going to be absent again for the rest of the month because I'm going on vacation. I'm going to be uh, talking to you guys about that too because it's actually something really special. And... The next review on this channel will be the Batcave, the 60s Batcave, because I really want to get that set, and I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun recording that review, and uh, I'm going to wait until April to post it, because in addition to getting the Batcave, LEGO's promo of the month for April is the Mr. Freeze polybag from the exact same show. So, you never know, it might be a double review, or I might just do the Batcave video in one, and then have the Mr. Freeze polybag second. But, aside from that, you guys, again, thank you guys for watching, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye!